Greetings, beautiful and radiant beings. My name is Zephyr. Welcome to my channel. I'm a licensed massage therapist, Reiki master teacher, sound healer, shamanic practitioner, and psychic intuitive. I'm here to share with you messages from spirit. These messages are timeless, so whenever it is that you are receiving these messages is the perfect time for you. Beautiful beings, we are nearing the end of the year, and so we've got some, some fun times ahead of us that we can reflect on the year that we've had and prepare for the year ahead. So we will take a look and see what messages Spirit has to share with you for the energy coming up as we round out this new year. Any of the things that you need to focus on in the last day or two of this this year. And you know, if you're viewing this message well into a different year or a different time, um, there's something in it that uh, is there for you that you very likely need to, to finish up as well. So uh, beautiful beings, we'll start out how we always do, and that is to clear the space, connect to ourself, wherever you are at, bring your attention to your breath and notice what your breath does to your body. Today on the day of this recording, I've got some rain going. Well, I don't have the rain going, Mother Nature does, but there is rain happening outside. So we're receiving beautiful blessings and clearings from Mother Nature as well. Shift your attention to the tip of your tailbone. Notice what your breath does to your body as you sit in this grounded place, grounded space. Shift your attention beyond your physical body into the earth beneath you and connect with the vibration of Mother Earth. Draw the nurturing and healing vibrations of Mother Earth into your root chakra and your pelvic bowl and allow it to reside there for as long as you need. Angels, spirits, guides, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the messages that you have shared and thank you for the messages that are on their way. What is it that our beautiful friends out there need to know as we come to the end of this 2021 calendar year? What are the final things that the collective needs to focus on as we wrap things up for another calendar year? What are the messages that you have to share? Angel spirits, guys, thank you for the messages. We'll get all of the cards out on the table and I'll explain to you, if this is your first time viewing my channel, how I do my reading. Angel Spirits Guides, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful beings. So we have five cards out on the table. And this card that's in the center is the energy that Spirit wants to share with you the most, that the thing that you need to focus on in wrapping up this end of year uh, energy is um, feminine energy. So uh, this feminine energy is a nurturing energy. Uh, it's also a reminder that for those of you out there that might have uh, been working on connecting with this feminine energy, so some of you that are following my channel 
uh, this, this connection to divine feminine energy has been a reminder uh, to, to, to work with. So for some of you, you know, the spirits wanting you to, to bring a focus to that as well. And, you know, for those of you that are hearing this message for the first time, spirit saying it's time to focus on some of that energy. It's time to focus on, on really bringing, uh, bringing that up into your forefront to see what it is that you need to look at. Uh, I'm getting the image of this incorporation of, uh, the divine feminine that is happening right now, that is happening for you, that is kind of circling around this this energy about you, and you know, kind of coming into your sphere of influence, um, so that you have that moving forward. Now, <laughs> as I look at these cards on either side, this is the energy that is in your present. So we've got this divine feminine energy or this feminine energy that is in your present. Uh, and we've also got transformation that is, is taking place. And right next to the divine feminine card, we have the masculine energy card, divine masculine energy. So there's definitely this embodiment of both of these energies that spirit's asking you to take a look at and have that be in your present and make that part of your transformational process. Uh, there's a lot of power in that, uh, especially when the, the masculine energy and the, the feminine energy card come up in the same reading, along with the transformation card. So spirit is calling you to incorporate that energy and to really be in your divine power. We've had a huge sacral chakra opening over this full past year, a balancing of our sacral chakra energy. And in the reading that I did yesterday, we, I was talking about this, how the sec, sec, sacral chakra, I was about to say sacral chakra and sex chakra at the same time, I interchanged them. Uh, the sacral chakra is the, the dwelling place of all of the masculine and feminine energy within our body. It's the, the place where our self dwells. And so because we've had such a huge sacral chakra opening over this past year, Spirit is saying it's time to, to bring some attention to that and look at what it is that is coming up for you and to either really begin to embody some of that energy and welcome it into your life and, and look at it as a blessing and transformation. Uh, so Spirit's asking you to, to, to do that or, you know, to really pay attention to how the masculine and feminine energies take part within your being. All right. So that is the energy that is coming up in your present moment and Spirit's coming in and sharing with this vertical energy, this is spirit coming in and saying, hey, there's something more underneath the surface. There's something else that you've got to pay attention to that you might not be aware of. So uh, spirit just says, hey, this is, this is your little tap on the shoulder. Like, hey, hey, we have changes. So this is card number 29. Two and nine is an 11. 11 is a master number. Master numbers are powerful manifestation numbers. Okay, so we've got changes that are happening. In this feminine energy card, we have the spiral in her womb area, in the lower chakras area, and in the changes card, we also have the spiral, okay? So for some of you out there, you might be seeing spirals or you might be drawn to spirals, and that is a, a sign from the universe that Things are, are changing, things are growing, things are evolving for you, and this incorporation of all of the <clears throat> masculine and feminine energy is taking place. And Spirit is saying, hey, big changes are taking place. We've got the transformation card that's right next to it, <clears throat> and as always, we are going to, we're going to find some clarification on these. Um, excuse me, beautiful beings. I got a, got a little frog in my throat. <clears throat> Usually when that happens, it is my sign that uh, somebody out there really needs to hear this message uh, and, and 
take it to take it to heart, take it take it in and really observe it and see where it lies. Sit in meditation, figure it out, find out where it comes from, okay? So we'll ask for clarification uh, from the cards, but this is a really powerful sign. We've got changes and we've got transformation in right next to each other. And we've got the D Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine card that are also right next to them, uh, next to each other. And underneath it all, we've got truth. So some of you are really coming into your own truth and understanding yourself a lot more. And Spirit is asking you uh, to, to begin to speak that out. Um, this truth card is my card for the throat chakra, it represents the throat chakra. Um, and when uh, truth comes up, it opens our throat chakra. We need to speak it, one, to ourselves, and two, to the people that are around us. So, <laughs> Spirit's saying, do you hear that? Hello, do you hear that? <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> when we have this sacral chakra energy that's activating and balancing, uh, some of our truth might change as our as our energy rises from our our second chakra and comes up into the rest of our being it it needs to be expressed so the second chakra and the fifth chakra work hand in hand uh, they, they, they it's it's this idea of uh, as above so below as above as above the heart chakra so below the heart chakra so there's this rectifying of the second chakra that is happening and we're being more emboldened we're being empowered we're we're standing in our light we're standing in our power we've reclaimed our power from other people we've cut our cords we've removed the roots of those cords we've done the work that we need to do we're embodying the masculine energy inside of us we're embodying the feminine energy inside of us and when that happens, this energy is allowed to rise up. Now, the reading that happened yesterday was all about reclaiming your second chakra power. I'll include a link to that video in the description below. Uh, but th there's this energy that rises uh, and it comes up and it's, 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 the direction is coming up. And so um, as, as our second chakra balances, our fifth chakra also balances, and we're we're in we we find ourselves in need of sharing our truth because the lies that we might have been telling ourselves or telling to others no longer suit us. Okay, so that's this energy, this this truth energy, this truth card, is is our throat chakra opening and activating. So we've got a lot of really powerful dynamic energy that is happening in this reading, okay? We've got opposing energies, masculine and feminine. And opposing doesn't mean bad, it just means that they're different. They, they have different qualities and characteristics that they bring, and both are fantastic and wonderful, okay? When they're balanced, when they're not balanced, when they're in their toxic state, they're not great, okay? So there might be for some of you this need to take a look at some of your characteristics and traits and figure out if they're actually for your benefit or not. Uh, so as you're, as you're rounding out this end of the year, you know, Spirit's saying, hey, take a look at this, take a look at this. Uh, definitely there's change that is on the forefront for you, okay? And some of you are, are really figuring out what that means, okay? We have the transformation card. We have a metamorphosis that's happening for you in this very moment. So if some of you out there are feeling as though everything in life is moved into a liquid state and uh, is very fluid for you right now, uh, which if you are a, a person that really wants things to be stable, you want things to be sturdy, you want to know all of the details about everything and you have everything all written down to the, to the, to the letter and uh, uh, you know, this is the way that it's gotta be. It might be a little bit uncomfortable for you right now uh, as things are, are, you know, being a little bit liquefied, you know, just kind of uh, think of the idea of what happens to a caterpillar as it 
as it goes through the metamorphosis and goes into its chrysalis, it kind of liquefies and uh, has some structural reorganization that happens and it emerges as a butterfly. So it transforms into something new and beautiful. Now, friends, this card is 22. This is also a master number card. So this is coming up for you in your present energy very powerfully. You might be seeing repeating twos. You might be re seeing repeating ones. So uh, 111, 1111, uh, uh, 222. Um, or you could see alternating ones and twos. It could be 121, 1221. One, any combination of, <clears throat> of all of that, okay? You, are you following? Are you hearing it? <laughs> my, my, my throat chakra says, ahem, ahem, ahem. Can you hear me? So those are the cards that are, that are coming up that is the energy that spirit wants you to be paying attention to, the things that are coming up that are under the surface. We're going to look for some clarification. Uh, we're going to look at uh, clarifying truth and transformation, transformation and changes, changes and masculine energy, masculine energy and truth. Hmm. Angel spirits, guides, thank you for these messages that you have shared. Now let's take a look at, okay. So we have the moon card come out and the seven of wands. So as this transformation is taking place for you, things are happening in phases. Things might not always be what they seem, so you're being encouraged to take a look at and sit with the energy that is coming up for you and to maybe grab your, your pen and paper and make your pros and cons list, okay? You know, what is coming up? I need to weigh these things out. And maybe take a look at any contracts that you have uh, in preparation for Mercury retrograde, which happens in January. So we're kind of in the pre-shadow phase uh, of, of Mercury retrograde as things are coming through. We're also in Venus retrograde. So, you know, take a look at any sort of contracts that you've got. Um, look at any business deals that you've got coming up and make sure that you have clarity with that um, because things have the opportunity to change in this time. So, you know, get, get everything all, get your ducks in a line, <laughs> is what Spirit's saying. Get your ducks in a line, okay? Line them up. Make, make sure that they're, they're all happening how they're supposed to be happening. Supposed to, quote unquote. <laughs> um, you know, put your positive intentions in that. And we definitely have a lot of positive energy moving with that, with the Seven of Wands uh, coming through. <clears throat> which is Mars and Leo. And so there's this energy of really moving forward and being, you know, I, I get this image of us holding our chest high and holding our head high and not so much inflated ego kind of this energy moving forward, but just, you know, holding ourselves in high esteem and moving forward with this. Be in our power. Be in our our light, okay? It's a time for transformation. So, you know, step into that spirit saying, because it's now is your time. Now is your time to, to, to be doing that, okay? All right, what? There we go. I kind of thought I would see Saturn pop up again. So this, this, card of Saturn popped up and the the message that Saturn has to share with this is is that of creating structure creating scaffolding creating some sort of way to have a checks and balances and measures system so uh, I just mentioned about creating a pros and cons list for the things that are coming up and you know that's part of creating this structure and another part is also creating that, that vision, that dream board, that, 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 that 
it doesn't pause. <laughs> Creating that visual, uh, I was waiting for Spirit to finish talking. Create that vision board for you that you have the visual that you can you can see the plan ahead of you, the blueprints, the architecture, the 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 where it is I want to go. So Saturn is asking you to to create that and to create some definition around it, okay, and and to have some some solid energy that will allow you to, to move forward with that. You know, you might need to take a look at your own your own energy and how you conduct yourself. Maybe write out a, a daily methods of operations for yourself. And you know what that is, is like, okay, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna make my bed, I'm gonna do my morning routines, I'll do my yoga, I'll meditate, I'll journal, I will do all of these certain things. I will get ready for my work and I'll do my work. So Spirit's asking you to create some sort of guidelines for yourself in how to operate life. You know, we've got this change energy coming. We've got, we've got this divine masculine and divine, ener divine feminine energy that is coming through and in need of balance. So, you know, include part of Part of in your daily methods of operations some self-care time you know this we're moving away from the piscean age this is not new to any of you that is that are following my channel we're moving away from the way things used to be where we give all of our energy to somebody else and don't replenish our own that that's out the door okay make self-care a part of your daily practice or at least if you can't do some self-care things daily, which many of us can probably find five minutes and recognize that if I just take five minutes and breathe, that's a self-care practice. So make that part of your part of your day and don't beat yourself up if you only get three minutes to do it. That three minutes is the most golden, perfect three minutes of your life <laughs> in that moment anyways. Um, you know, but, but spend that time and just recognize that, hey, I do have a few minutes, you know, change the narrative of, I don't got time for all of this. I, I don't have an hour to go to the gym. I don't have an hour to do this. I, what you do have time for, what do you have time for? Think about that. Put your energy there and you will make the time. You will find that because when you do, when you do spend those two or three or five minutes to get your get your mind get your emotions get your physical body get your spirit all in alignment by just focusing on your breath just focusing on your breath you will be more embodied you will have more energy for yourself that little reprieve that you give yourself is actually going to make you more productive okay so do do some of those good and positive things for yourself Let's take a look at transformation and changes. <clears throat> Angel Spirits Guides, what is it that you have to share with our dear sweet friends out, out there? Wow. She came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> like half of the cards fell out. We're not, we're not going with that. So if any of you are hearing that song, uh, that Wrecking Ball song, there's something in this reading for you. <laughs> Sometimes Spirit shares, shares those kinds of songs. Uh, all right, Angel Spirits, guys. Or maybe that's a song that you like. Maybe it was one of your jams <laughs> from back in the day. All right, I know you're in there. What is the message that you have to share about transformation and changes? What are the messages you have to share? Yeah, and just like all those cards falling out, this is, this is big energy, okay? The Knight of Cups. So in the Knight of Cups, there is the knight on, on a horse and uh, the knight is actually, I think, of an angel because <laughs> he's got wings. Uh, 
a flying knight, and he's got the cup of victory. In, in, in this cup, uh, there's a crab. So this is also a, a, the card of cancer. If you are a cancer or you have a cancer in your life, um, a, a person that is a cancer or somebody with strong placement in uh, the sign of cancer, there's, there's definitely some energy in this for you, okay? But these changes, these changes are coming and they're very balanced, okay? <clears throat> this Knight of Cups has direction. This Knight of Cups is, is, is moving towards, they're carrying something. So you are carrying something that is really powerful, that is really about what you've got the torch you're going through you're lighting the way you're holding on to something that is really very beautiful and you're you're moving through life and you're moving through easily you're balanced in your emotions look we've got second chakra energy that's coming up with with this uh uh divine feminine energy this divine masculine energy the second chakra activation thing that's happening the element associated with the second chakra is water okay and we've got the knight of cups all right and we've also got the moon the moon on our physical plane moves bodies of water okay lakes rivers oceans it moves bodies of water and it also moves your physical body okay it you're mostly made of water and you know so there's there's big change that's happening for you and it's coming through in a very positive and supported way and there's very likely something underneath the surface uh with this transformation that's happening that will emerge at some point for you and be a very pleasant and beautiful surprise for you Okay, remember these messages are general. Okay, I can't possibly offer all of the information that could, could, maybe, could maybe happen, but let's see if uh, we can get a message from Spirit that, okay, Woo. I was asking Spirit, what, what, what do we got? What is, the, what is the thing that's under the surface that we need to share? And we've got the second house, we've got resources. Okay, so the second house is ruled by Taurus. So if you are a Taurus, you have Taurus aspected in your charts anywhere uh, really heavily. There's some beautiful, beautiful abundance that's coming in for you. There's some activation. So we've got Taurus. Taurus also is a very sensual sign. So some of your senses might be picking up. You, you might be feeling things at a deeper level. You might be sensing things with your psychic and intuitive senses at a deeper level. But definitely you are, you are being supported by the universe. So if you've had a tough break on this, look, we are, we are, <laughs> we're clarifying the transformation card. We're clarifying the changes card. We've got the cup of victory being held by the Knight of Cups. You are supported. You are in your power. You are, you are working with your second chakra energy. You are not giving that energy away from anybody. And the thing that's under the surface that is coming through for you are resources, are, are, it, it, it's, it's your ability to hold yourself grounded in the physical realm, in the place where you are. So if you've been experiencing a little bit of hardships over this year, that's flipping for you, okay? Because you are paying attention to what is going on with your personal energy, okay? Divine masculine, divine feminine, second chakra activation energy. It's all coming through into fruition for you, beautiful beings. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Woohoo! All right. Let us take a look at <clears throat> changes and masculine energy. Angel spirits, guys, what is it that you have to share with the collective about changes and masculine energy? Oh, you flipped over right in the middle. What do we got? The Knight of Swords. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at this. Beautiful beings. On either side of the changes card, we have two knights. Okay. Both of them are heading towards something. And 
Wow, yes. So we've got air and we've got water. So the the sword suit in, t in the tarot is represented by the element of air, okay? These elements of air and water work very well with each other, okay? We know that on a molecular level, <laughs> water is made of air, okay? It's, it's oxygen and hydrogen, okay? Uh, H2O. So we've got two gases that come together to make water, right? And we've got the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups knows where they are going, okay? This is this masculine energy. This is this moving forward energy, okay? So Spirit is saying, you know where you're going. You, you are being encouraged to move towards that goal. And you are heading there hella fast, okay? So in this card, we've got the Knight of Cups on a horse with his wings going and he's got a direction. He's charging forward. He's got swords in both hands and he's going for what it is that he wants. He's behind, he, he's got his intellect all in, in, in balance is the word that's coming up. Uh, so he's, he knows where he's going. He's got clear definition. He's heading straight for the target and, and he's successful. The night is successful. Yeah, so this energy that's opening up for you, it's really positive energy. It's really a balanced thing. Okay, Angel Spirits Guide, let's take a look at what, whoops, that, that's what we're doing? That's the one? That's the one. Yeah. So, Imum Koeli is the, 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 when we look at the natal chart, Okay, so the natal chart is round. This is the, the, the exact placement of all of the planets within the different signs at the time of your birth. And this Imum Koeli is at the bottom of your natal chart. Okay, so uh, this is, this is the, the, the placement between the, it would be the third and the fourth house. So wherever that energy is, uh, maybe if you know your natal chart, take a look at that and see what energy is down there, okay? But Spirit is saying, you are, you are really bringing this in. You are grounding this energy in. The message of this card is root. And when we look at this, we've got, I guess, a representation of a, of a natal chart. Uh, and then right in the center, in the bottom, we've got this, this root, this, this grounding thing that's happening uh, with... Uh, tree trunk at the bottom beautiful beings I will post a picture of the whole reading on my Instagram page uh, and you can find that link in the description below so you can take a look at all of the cards if you want to do that as well on my Instagram page uh, but spirit is saying you are heading for this and you are being encouraged to really ground it in okay we've got another 11 card. This is card number 38, but 3 and 8 is 11. So uh, to clarify that, we've got, you know, we've got this um, changes card, which is 29, 2 and 9 is 11. We've got a number, uh, another number 11 uh, master energy card. So Spirit is saying you are heading towards it and you are grounding that energy in and it is, it is, it is balanced because we've got the masculine and feminine energies happening. Um, and we've got transformation that's happening. So you are really bringing it in and grounding it in so that when you move into this next calendar year, you are in a balanced place. You are in a powerful space. And the only thing that's happening for you is positivity, okay? <laughs> the only thing that's happening for you is positivity. And while things very likely will come up that will... Mm, challenge your your belief in what is positive and what might not be perceived as positive it's all for the greatest good and the highest joy mm -hmm. thank you angel spirits guides okay let's take a look at masculine energy and truth <clears throat> angel spirits guides what is it that you have to share about masculine energy and truth 
Angel Spirits Guides, what is it you have to share about masculine energy and the truth? Mm -hmm. We've got the priestess. <laughs> the priestess is in her power. She, she, <laughs> oh, yeah, she's in her power. So even more, even more important. Okay, so we've got, oh, we just got to take a look at this. We've got divine feminine energy, feminine energy, and we've got masculine energy. We're, we're having balance there. We're, 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 we're looking for clarification on masculine energy and truth. And you've got a, a divine feminine card that came up, a very powerful uh, feminine energy card that came up. So there is very much a balance of the masculine and feminine energy that is coming to the surface right now as we round out this year, as you round out your, your year, as you round out whatever it is that you are working on right now, there is a balance of masculine and feminine energy and spirit is reminding you that you are in your power with this energy. You have the ability to create and manifest and have abundance with you with this energy that is coming up and you are being asked to bring it to the surface, to let it be expressed, to not just hold on to it in the lower uh, part of ourself, in the physical part of ourself. We're being asked to share that out, to create the balance, to, to facilitate the shift that is happening on our planet at large. Okay, you are in your power with that. We've got another card of, of really embodying this energy. Uh, this is this is the Vesta card, and the message here is hearth. And with this, uh, the hearth was the place in the home that the fire was kept. And so the message that's coming forward with this, and look, in the masculine energy card, we have we have the sun, we have fire, we have this this powerful uh, source of light that's happening inside of us. And so spirit is saying. If you haven't got the message already that you need to be embodying this, this energy that's coming up, here's another message that you need to be embodying. You need to be embodying the, the masculine energy within you. You need to be embodying the feminine energy within you, regardless of whatever your gender is, whatever gender you were assigned at birth and that may or may not resonate with who you are. You are being asked to recognize and to honor that you have masculine and feminine energy within you. And when you do that, you are going to be empowered, okay? You are going to be, you're going to be in your power. You're going to be powerful, not power over, right? Powerful doesn't mean that we have power over or need to have power over. That means that we are so full of our own essence, that we are so in our power, that we glow, we radiate, people recognize us. We make things happen when we are when we are empowered, okay? Okay. <laughs> Spirit says, I think they I think they heard it, I think they got it. Beautiful beings, these are the messages from Spirit. We're gonna pull some final messages. Let's see, we're gonna we're gonna go with. The Lightworkers Oracle. Angel Spirits Guides, what are the final messages that you have to share with our beautiful beings out there, with our beautiful friends? Is that what it is? No, that is not what it is. All right, Spirit says, nope. All right, Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, if it happened twice, then, and two times in a row, that's what it is. Okay, so we get three cards for final messages. The first ray of power. Oh my gosh. How can I make, you can't make this stuff up, okay? I was just talking about you being in your power. And check this out. We've got the first ray of power. This beautiful being is, is so much bigger. Look, they're, they're, they're sitting here and reflecting on the fact that they are huge, okay? They are so much bigger than their physical body. And... 
around this being are all of the celestial bodies, all of the planets, and we are a part of that, okay? And Spirit wants you to know that, that you are part of everything that is out there, and absolutely, absolutely, this is a, a, fresh, a fresh start that's coming for you in 2022, or whatever it is. Earth healing, card number 38. Wow, okay, we got card number 38 here once, we got an 11, we got card number 29, we've got an 11. So if any of you are curious, uh, we've got Roman numeral number two, kind of looks like 11. Uh, <laughs> we've got 22. So definitely there is energy that is here, that is you are in your power, you are manifesting, you are, you are a creator and you're helping to shift this. You are also helping to heal the earth. That is part of what is going on with this. The consciousness, as you are raising your consciousness, you're aware of things that that may or may not be be helpful for everyone. And you're working to change things into a, a place where it feels better for everybody, where it's a better decision, uh, you know, where, where you're making things that are not harming others, where you're helping to illuminate people into the fact that we need to do things that take care of ourselves, the planet, and the people around us. Some of you are really coming into this connection with who you truly are, and you are receiving parts of yourself that might have been fragmented away from past traumas. So as you are, as you are bringing some, some correctness, as you are correcting some of the energy uh, of what has been uh, as as you are as you are bringing healing to yourself as you are embodying this energy of masculinity of femininity of really being um, really being understanding of your energy you are you are getting this part of yourself back that you believed once to be gone and it's 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 coming back we've got soul child as this card uh, as this last card so there's this part of you that's coming back beautiful beings those are the messages that spirit has to share for you today if any bit of these messages resonated with you please do like share subscribe remember to click the bell icon ding, 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 so that way you uh, know when i upload new videos Wonderful and glorious beings, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your love and support. Until the next time, may you receive abundant blessings of love, joy, light, prosperity, and all of the good good.